Hello students. Welcome to the course Electromagnetic Engineering. So far we have discussed all the types of coordinate systems. Today we are going to discuss about the Coulomb's law. So what is Coulomb's law? Coulomb's law gives us an idea about force between two point charges. So what do you mean by the word point charge? We mean that in physics the size of linear charged bodies is very small as against the distance between them and therefore we consider them as point charges as it becomes easy for us to calculate the force of attraction or repulsion between them. So we have two charges, charge Q1 and Q2, which are separated by distance R. So according to Coulomb's law, the force is directly proportional to the product of two charges and it is inversely propor proportional to the square of distance between these two. Okay, this is what is stated over here. So the Coulomb has measured the force between two point charges and he came up with the theory that the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges. He also found that this force is directly proportional to the product of charges. We can show it with the uh, form, uh, following formula. Uh, suppose we have two charges, charge Q1 and Q2 and which are separated by some distance r. So, according to the Coulomb's law, F is in directly proportional to Q and Q1 and Q2, product of two charges. And F is inversely proportional to the square of distance between these two. Okay. We can write this equation by F is equal to K into Q1, Q2 divided by R square, where K is the proportionality constant. And this proportionality constant can be given by K is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon. <coughs> this epsilon naught is equal to 8.854 into 10 raised to minus 12. Or it can be given by epsilon naught is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 divided by 36 pi. And when we solve this whole term, k is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. According to this theory, like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. So, what is its meaning? This means Charges of same sign will push each other with repulsive force while charges with opposite signs will pull each other with attractive force. Okay. So, this is the Coulomb's law in vector form. F is equal to Q1 Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square AMR. Here, I will try to draw the diagram. Suppose this is my charge Q1. This is charge Q2 which are separated by some distance R. I want to find out force on, ch on charge Q2 due to charge Q1. So, the direction will be towards charge Q1. Direction of the vector will be towards charge Q1, Q2. Okay. So, it will be from 1 to 2, R12. A12 is the unit vector in the direction of R1. So, F2 is equal to as per the Coulomb's law, it is equal to Q1 into Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R12 square into A12. We know how to find out this R12 and how to find out A12. So, now, we will try to solve one example. So, let us illustrate the use of vector form of Coulomb's law by locating a charge of Q1 equal to 3 into 10 raise to minus 4 Coulomb at a point M 1 to 3 and a charge Q2 is equal to 10, minus 10 raise to minus 4 Coulomb 
at a point n 205 in a vacuum and we desired the force exerted on q2 by q1 so for this this is my charge q1 this is charge q2 the location of charge q1 is 123 charge q2 is located at 205 okay and we want to find out force exerted on q2 so the direction will be from q1 towards q2 okay so we'll use coulomb's law so f2 bar is equal to q1 into q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r12 square into a r12 bar here we uh, in the example q1 is given q2 is also given epsilon naught it is also given the medium is given so for that medium we know epsilon naught but we don't know r12 and a r12 but we can find it out because the locations of q1 and q2 it is given so from this we can find out q1 uh, r12 and ar12 so first of all try to find out vector r12 using the concept end point minus start point so 2 minus 1 ax bar plus 0 minus 2 ay bar plus 5 minus 3 Az bar. So, our vector we are getting Ax bar minus 2 Ay bar plus 2 Az bar. Then find out its magnitude. So, magnitude of vector R12 it is equal to under root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square. So, it is equal to how much? Yes, it is equal to 3. So, unit vector AR12 is equal to vector R12 divided by its magnitude. So, it is equal to AX bar minus 2 AY bar plus 2 AZ bar divided by 3. Now, we have all the values which we need to calculate force F2. We will try to calculate force F2. So, force F2 is equal to the value of q1 is 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 coulomb q2 is 10 minus 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught so 4 pi epsilon naught is 10 raised to minus 9 by 36 pi r square is 3 square into ar is ax bar minus 2 ay bar plus 2 az bar divided by 3. So, when we solve this, we will get force equal to minus 10 ax bar plus 20 ay bar minus 30 az bar. Okay. So, if it is asked you to find out force on F1 due to charge Q2, what is the relation? So, the relation is if you observe in this diagram, okay, yes, in this diagram, if you want to find out force on charge Q1 due to Q2, only the direction is changed. So, what is the relation between F1 and F2? F1 bar is equal to minus of F2 bar. Okay. Here also we will by using that concept, uh, concept we can find out force on charge Q1 which is equal to minus of F2 bar. And for our example now it will be equal to 10 Ax bar minus 20 Ay bar plus 20 Az Newton the unit of force is Newton. Okay. So, here we have discussed the concept of Coulomb's law. Now, we have I have a reflection spot. 
just pause the video and try to give the answer the question is consider two small identical conducting spheres with charge of q1 coulomb and q2 coulomb respectively these are placed at distance d centimeter apart from each other if they are brought into contact and then separated by same distance d centimeter so what will be the force between them so to find out i hope you all have come up with the answer i'll try to elaborate it how to find the force to find out the force first of all we need to know the concept between what over the concept what is explained over here so if two identical conducting spheres with the charges q1 and q2 coulomb respectively okay if these are initially placed at some distance d apart from each other and if these two charges brought into contact and then separated by d first of all the charge on each sphere it is now not q1 and q2 coulomb the charge is changed so we need to find out how much charge is present on these two spheres so the here when these two identical conducting spheres are brought into contact and then separated while separating the charge on each sphere is equally distributed okay so charge on sphere 1 is equal to q1 plus q2 divided by 2 okay similarly charge on sphere 2 is equal to q1 plus q2 divided by 2 now the charges on these two identical conducting spheres it is changed first of all try to find out these charges and then use coulomb's law to find the force between them 